Alright. I had a breakup with Liam, and I hope he takes it well. Yeah. Who would be knocking on my door at this hour? It's too early in the game for a jump scare. Who's there? Hey, honey, can I come in? Liam, I told you it's over, so no, you can't come in. Come on, you can't just leave me like that. I love you more than anything. It's over, Liam. Just go home. Open the door, Kate. No, I'm not opening the door. I don't love you anymore, Liam. You'll be mine again soon. I bad to calm myself down. A bit would be great right now. Oh, shit. Bro, nice ass bed. Bro, bro, you got to close these blinds in your house. What is... Who lives like this? I, Rich, you have, bro, Tyler has windows like this in his house. I don't, dude, I have to have that shit closed. It is creepy as hell. What the fuck? What the? Give me another chance, please. I will treat you well and do anything you want. I promise. Just one more chance is all I ask. That can't be too much, can it? <coughs> oh. Hi, Kate. Oh! Paul, I need your help. Hey, Kate, what's going on? Liam broke in my apartment and chased me. I barely got away, and now I'm in my car with nowhere to go. You can come live with me as, for as long as you need. However, I'm going to be out of on a business trip for one week. That's fine. It's still going to be safer than staying here. Can I go there now? Yeah, I'll send you the address. The key to my house is in a flower pot. Okay, thanks again, Grandpa. You are a lifesaver. Angela in the room by herself doing her loud ass scream, bro. <laughs> I don't want to play anymore. Do these scary games always sound like fun until I start playing, man? <sighs> wow, I slept that long. Here's resident of this mansion. I'm the previous owner of this mansion, and you are the person I've been looking for. I hope to see you stick around for a while. I'm sure we will get along just fine. I will be watching you. Watching me? This is strange to say the least. I need to get going to the store before it gets dark, though. Let's be careful. He's gonna come. He's gonna come! Oh, I left the door! I don't think it matters. Is that some kind of paper? Please help us bring Ashley home. If you have any information, even the smallest detail, contact the police. Your assistance could make all the difference. Yeah, I'm fucking new. Who just talked to someone at the gas station? Piss off. Where do you live? I don't feel comfortable telling you that. Are you alone? I'm in a hurry. Sorry, I gotta go. It's that guy. Why are he going towards my car? He gonna take me and put me in the back of his car. I can literally predict this game. H Hello, is that all? Yes. All right. The total is twenty-two fifty. Thank you for shopping. Also, I can tell you new to the area. How long are you staying for? No problem. I'm not sure yet. Not too long. I will assume. 
Have a good day and here are your groceries. Thanks, you two. Tip him? Yeah, you're out of your mind. This game's jump scares are insane. You know, a young, beautiful lady like you shouldn't be out all alone like this. It's 3 p.m. Be careful and don't let me case you all alone again. I don't need your warnings. Respect my space and stay away. That's crazy. <laughs> actually mattered it was gonna be open no matter what there's no way a game like this does shit like that can't wait to see you again Good one, game. I'm going to get out of this. He's going to be right fucking behind me. So funny. Like, you think you're so clever with this jump scare that's about to happen. What do you mean, check the door? I'm not opening the fucking door. I would, dude, nobody's opening the door at this time at night, man. I don't want to. Congratulations on settling in. You may believe this mansion is your refuge. But every step you take reveals a deeper game. I'm with you in every choice, every move. There's no escape from becoming mine. Let me guess the car's not going to work. Messages, letters, and texts. I'm really scared. Stay the while with me. Help is on the way. In the meantime, try to find a safe and secure location within your home. Someone's just trying to open the door. I guess I'm just supposed to wait. I'm not checking the door. I just gotta wait, I think. You have zero survival instincts, bruh? I would never go to a fucking house like this at nighttime by myself. How? It's been like a whole two minutes, officers. Where are you? Our officers operated a man in a white van outside your residence. Huh? Bring him in for questioning is something else. Bro, I was supposed to be hitting space bar this entire time to get through that shit. We're bringing him in for questioning. If something else happens, don't hesitate to call us. Thank you for your help. I'll be sure to reach out if something else happens. You should be safe now. Let's head to the basement outside and restore the power.
Oh my god, he's walking up the steps. That's why you always gotta have a gun in your house. Because I would not feel scared at all. I would just shoot them. Probably go call and check out Liam's doing. I mean, the reason all this is happening is to give it to I broke up with him. It's all my fault. If I had to stay with Liam, he would have kept me safe. I just wanted to end. At least it's the best you to answer. Let's put my mind on something else. But first, let's make sure her house is empty. I still don't feel safe. It's daytime though, so we're good. It's not as scary during the day. I tried to pull that earlier. I noticed that earlier. What is the point of all this? I'm typing to a dead person. I would do anything to get you back. She's moved as you were. She has to become mine. She will, no matter what. I can't let her run away from me like you once did. Oh, shit. It's that Ashley girl from the store. I was missing. Last seen in the residence, Ashley suddenly, sudden absence was raised suspicious with her husband emerging as a prime person of interest in the ongoing investigation. While authorities continue to search for leads, they urge anyone with information to come forward and assist in the search for Ashley. Hey, I'm not Ashley, bruh. I'll kill you, mom. Grandpa, are you there? Yes, has something happened? A lot has happened. I've noticed creepy letters i been followed by someone. I don't think it's Liam. I called the police and they arrested a suspicious individual lurking around the house. But when I thought it was all over, I found a strange hidden room in your house that contained some psychotic things, to say the least. What? This is insane. Maybe the police arrested the guy leaving the letters and in a hidden room? I've lived there for 10 years and never seen that. I'll be cutting this business trip short, coming home ASAP. I can't stand not being able to help you. I like how this game doesn't do no bullshit. You know what I mean? I'd like to think they arrested him, but what if they didn't? What if he's still out there? What if they arrested someone who got set up? It makes so, me so uneasy just thinking about it. What do you remember about the person you brought, you bought this place from? <clears throat> that could definitely be the case. I remember that his wife had recently gone missing without a trace. It was a talk of the town for quite a while. And his name was... My phone ran out of battery. I didn't have time to bring my charger with me. That shit did not last you two days. Oh, there's one in the basement. <laughs> so fucking obvious, you stupid ass game. You're not even fucking clever with this shit. You're not. Oh, my guy, what are you doing? Looks like the fucking four weird guy, man. Hi, sorry if I scared you. I just had to come clean it about something. Of course you did. You were the creep that talked earlier outside the convenience store. What do you want to come clean about? I know it was creepy, but it wasn't my idea. Liam told me to do it in the hopes that you would take him back to feel safe again. It all makes a lot more sense now. Thank you for telling me. I still don't feel safe around you. Can you leave now, please? Yes, of course, I'm sorry again. You thought this was over? You feel hopeless now, don't you? Your car doesn't work, your phone is dead, the police think they got me, the person got the person behind this, and you don't know where I am. There is nothing you can do to stop me anymore. Follow other path? What does that mean, other path? 
This game doesn't play around with the jump scares. So it's just gonna happen. I can't get away from it. This leads to the house. Ashley. Wait. Okay, that's Liam. What happened to you? Why would somebody do this? She is mine. And only mine. Why is it telling me that? Why would it tell me that? Huh? Surely not for no reason. It's gonna be right here. Here it is. Here's the jump scare. Three, two, one. Maybe it was for no reason. Huh? I don't want to go this way. Go deeper in the tunnel? No! Why? Why would you not run away? Bro, there's no... You're calling me dumb. Sorry for doing the most logical thing that any person would ever do. She's white? What the fuck does that have to do with anything, man? It's Ashley. Now he's gonna be pissed. Do I just leave? I don't care how you look, it's more than enough. Come here, I've been waiting. Let this fat fuck catch you! Tommy realized that Kate was nowhere to be seen. He got a sinking gut feeling that the worst might have happened. He called the police instantly and they made it just in time. The relief Grandpa felt after the news was like nothing else. What happened to everyone else involved? The man in the white van said that his reasoning for being outside Kate's home was because he saw a stranger following her home from the store. Of course the police didn't believe him when they saw no one else was there. But when the news broke free about this, the police realized their mistake and that he had actually been telling the truth. He was released the same day. Liam's accomplice was never seen again after the incident. The psychopath who killed his ex-wife Ashley, Liam, and almost Kate ended up getting sentenced to life in prison. Kate is doing her best to recover from the incident, but it's difficult at night. She often hears those daunting knocks at her bedroom door, disrupting her attempts to sleep. Throughout every day, she finds herself checking behind and scanning every corner, consumed by fear and paranoia. One more game. I'm actually uh, going to go shower. I will uh, see you guys later. Could have been scary. It was solid. It was a solid game.